Hi there. It's uh, Patricia, and I'm just heading down the Trans Canada Trail. A friend and I were for a walk earlier with our dogs, and we noticed that there was a lot of spring peeper eggs, um, uh, tadpole eggs, in a puddle that's at the bottom of a very steep hill. And there's a four-wheeler that goes up there almost every day, and it's not a very big puddle either. So a few days of sunshine, and it will disappear, and those little eggs won't stand a chance. So I've come back with my bucket, and I'm heading down the trail, and we're going to see if we can't rescue these spring peeper eggs. Stay tuned. So we're just coming up to a uh, train bridge, not too far from where I'm heading. So this is a, a brook that uh, feeds into Middle River. And when I moved here uh, a quarter of a century ago now, I'm only three towns over from where I started, so I'm a come from away but not. Um, when I moved here, this was still uh, was still, ra uh, still tr uh, rails, and uh, it was torn up only a few years after I built my home. And uh, so this used to just be straight tracks coming over uh, coming over this lovely little brook, and they built up lovely sides and so now it's a lot safer to walk across and let's have a peek over so that's foam that you're seeing and uh, and this runs down into Middle River several times a year I walk this entire hook system all the way down to the river Usually when the gas rows start running, and I take Alice down for a fish. Okay, let's head to the frog eggs. So before we get to the frog eggs, I just wanted to show you this, this little patch here. Now this doesn't look like much more than a bunch of sticks, little dead sticks sticking out of the ground. But what this is, is a, um, a section of milkweed that grows along the Trans Canada Trail. And in the last few years, it jumped over to this side as well. We're really excited about that. There's uh, not a lot of it that grows along the Trans Canada Trail. And a few years ago, I made a quick phone call to the Chester Municipality office and found a like-minded person who uh, was very excited to come out and set up some signs. And the project's now expanding and people in the municipality are growing milkweed. And uh, if you don't know, milkweed is the only plant that monarch butterflies lay their eggs on and um, so they need the milkweed and if we want to bring the, keep the butterflies and bring them back and make them stay um, we need to do more stuff like this we need to uh, build up not destroy speaking of that let's go get them frog eggs okay so here we are we've made it in to, uh, to where the frog eggs are can see them. Here they are. And they're lovely little gelatinous sacks and growing into little tadpoles. Gosh, I love tadpoles right from the time I was a kid. So, so this is the puddle they're laying in. This is at the bottom of um, quite a steep hill. I hike this a few times a year and there's some pretty special trees at the top of this hill and uh, and it's a it's a good hike. It's got some nice views when you get up there. And unfortunately, it's traveled every day by a four-wheeler. So um, these little froggy eggs, they're not going to last in here if they stay here. And as we can tell by the nice clear water, the four-wheeler hasn't been through yet. So um, we lucked out. So let me set this up and uh, see if I can get some footage of me scooping them out into the bucket. All right. See you in a minute. Oops. I forgot to put my boots on. I'm getting wet feet, but that's awesome. I don't mind at all. All right, so bucket, and I brought a brought a smaller bucket to uh, to just be very gently with them. Camera person. <laughs> okay. Come on, little eggs. Come on. Oops. This 
part's really hard to do. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to finish doing that. I'm going to hit pause for now and I'm going to finish doing that and we'll come back when they're all in the bucket. So I had to wait a second for the mud to settle some, make sure I got everything out. That's looking good. Looks like we got them all rescued. And probably won't pick up on camera, but what this puddle is also full of right now is mosquito larvae. So, so the bucket's a bit stirred up at the moment. Reflection of me, hi. So you can't really see them, so I put a little, put one of the, one of the bunches in here. Get a good look at it. So, I love as they grow and get to see little tails pop out and then their little feet come and I just, I love the whole process. I think it's amazing. I think nature is amazing. So much uh, more amazing than we give credit for or that we respect. And uh, we got to do better. So I'm out here doing my part. All right. So now what we need to do is find a place where we can um, find them a new home. A place that's going to be away from four-wheelers. A place that's hopefully a bit swampy so it'll have a good supply of water. Um, we'll last them until they're ready to hatch. All right, let's go look. All right, back. So, I had to walk quite a ways. I just wasn't happy with most of the places I was finding. I, uh, a lot of them were close to running water, and if we got the amount of rain, they'd be swept away. And so, I didn't want any of that. So, I found a place that's, uh, not that far from my house, actually. And, uh. This stays wet most of the time, and I have good confidence that this little ditch way will uh, stay wet long enough for them to hatch. It's just off the Canada <laughs> Trans Canada Trail, um, and uh, as I was walking by here, I actually saw a little frog jump off the side and swim under. So I thought, okay, this seems like a good spot. All right, little guys, best of luck. Hope you make it. And just like when I was collecting them, this probably isn't going to be the easiest thing to see. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And I'll come back in a second when I've got them all placed. It's getting a little later in the evening and our and the sun is, is waning, so... This part's probably not going to be very good, but they're all in here now. It's very hard to see through the reflection, I know. But they're all in here safely. And like turtles and like so many other creatures of the wild and animals that, you know, lay sometimes hundreds and thousands of eggs, um, there's a very low survival rate. That's why they, they uh, lay so many eggs. So, if one or two can come to adulthood through what I've done, that would be awesome. I feel very happy about that. And if not, at the very least, I feel like I gave them a chance. And I also, these weren't the only animals I uh, rescued today. As we were going for our walk, there was a lovely little brown garter snake um, in the middle of the road. Now, that's no place to be, but it was uh, sunning itself. And so... Uh, we put him or her off to the side in a sunspot so they'd have a chance to live as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, my name is Patricia and uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Take care. We'll see you again.